Hey guys, it's Calvin, and in this video, I want to show you guys how you can download the Spotlight images that are usually displayed on your lock screen in Windows 10. Now, Windows Spotlight does a great job featuring some really amazing pictures that I wish I could always use as a desktop background. And in this video, I want to show you guys how you can download these or extract them for your own personal use. Now, there's two ways of doing this. The first way is using the Spotbrite app from the Microsoft Windows Store. And the second way, which I think is much cooler, is actually navigating to the path where these photos are usually downloaded and kept and extracting them using command prompt. So the first way is pretty easy. I'm going to go ahead and navigate down here to the Microsoft Store. And in the search bar, I'm going to go ahead and search for Spotbright. And I'm going to see this app here, this blue app here, Spotbright. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And I'm going to go ahead and click Get. And then it's going to start downloading the app. So once the app is downloaded and installed, you can go ahead and click launch here or navigate to your Windows button down here and search for it here. I'm going to go ahead and click launch. Now the way that this app works is that you can click search pictures and the app will start searching for the pictures that Windows Spotlight downloads and keeps on your machine and displays on your lock screen. So I'm going to go ahead and click search pictures and it will keep searching for all the new pictures that are found in Windows Spotlight. I can stop the search at any time, and when I do, I can go ahead and click download 388 new pictures, and it gives you the file size right there. So once you have your pictures downloaded, you can go ahead and click open download location, and it will show you all the different pictures that it was able to find and download. Now I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of this, and in settings, there's some pretty neat things that you can do. The first is that you can be notified of when new pictures from Windows Spotlight arrive. And you can also update the lock screen with these images and even set some of the time intervals here. So this was the first way you could download Windows Spotlight pictures. I'm going to go ahead and close out of this app and I'll show you guys the second way. I forgot to mention at the start of the video that I am running Windows 10 Fall Creators Update which was released in fall of 2017 and the methods that I'm showing you guys do work for this version of Windows 10, but I can't guarantee that it's going to work for versions prior or after the fall creators update. But anyway, I'll go ahead and show you guys the second method, which is a little bit more involved, but it's not too bad. So the very first thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and click or press the Windows key on my keyboard and start typing settings. And once I have settings open, I want to go here to personalization and then on the left hand side I want to go to lock screen and here I want to make sure that the Windows Spotlight option is selected under background. Once I have this done I want to go ahead and open up a new file explorer window. Once I have this open I want to go to the view tab here on the top and under the show hide section on the ribbon I want to select file name extensions and hidden item. Once this is done, we can go ahead and navigate to where Windows stores the Spotlight pic. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this PC and then on local disk. And then from local disk, I want to go down to users. And then here I'm going to select my username, which is Rye Calvin. Obviously, it will be different for you, but go ahead and select your username. Then I'm going to go to this hidden folder app data and then I want to go to local. And once I'm in local, I want to go all the way down here to packages. And in this folder, I want to scroll down to where I see Microsoft.Windows.ContentDeliveryManager, which is this one here. And then I want to go to local state and then finally assets. And here we're going to see a whole bunch of files. They're not necessarily images, but just a bunch of files. And what I want to do here is I want to go to the desktop. So I want to click anywhere on my desktop and click new folder. So I want to create a new folder. I'm going to go ahead and call it images. And then I want to go back to this folder and I'm going to go ahead and press control A to select all of these files. And then I'm going to right click and I'm going to get this Windows security message. I'm going to go ahead and click OK and proceed to copying all these files. I want to open up the images folder here and click in here and paste all those files. Now here's the interesting thing. These files 
don't have any file extensions on them or none that we can see visibly. So I'm going to use command prompt and I'm going to rename all these files with the .jpg extension appended to the end of the file name. And now what I want to do is I want to open up command prompt. So you can go ahead and press the Windows key on your keyboard or just go down here to the Windows button and start typing CMD. Now command prompt shows up, but I want to right click this and click run as administrator. So once I have this command prompt open, I want to go back to this folder and I want to click inside this address bar to get the file path. I'm going to go ahead and copy this file path, go back to the command prompt and type in CD space and then I'll just hit control V to paste that file path and I'm going to go ahead and press enter and now the directory has changed to this folder that we have this images folder on our desk so now what I want to do is I want to start typing ren for rename and then star dot star space star dot j p g make sure you have a space between the ren and the first star and then a space between these two stars. And then go ahead and press enter. And you'll notice that when you go back to the images folder, the file names have changed and they've become quote unquote image files. So what I can do now is go to view and I can change the layout to maybe large icons. And you can see that this process will show you some of those really awesome Windows Spotlight pictures that you see and you can click on the ones that you want save them and display them as your background or anything else for your own personal use so for an example I really like this one I'm gonna go ahead and drag this to the desktop I'm gonna right click and say set as desktop background and there you go we have window spotlight pictures at our disposal all right thank you guys for watching if you guys have any questions please let me know in the comments and I'll try to respond and help you guys out as much as I can